Okay, we're going to continue with Physio X10 uh, videos. Uh, exercise 5, Activity 2, studying the effect of blood viscosity on blood flow rate. So let's take a look at that. So this time, instead of altering um, radius, we are going to alter viscosity. And a viscosity, of course, has to do with the thickness or stickiness of a fluid. The more viscous, the more resistance to flow. So the thicker and stickier the fluid is, the more resistance to flow. So um, what we should see is as we increase viscosity, we should see flow rate decrease. So anyhow, as usual, it goes through the pre-lab uh, quiz questions. We're gonna get right to it. Um, pressure staying as a constant. Uh, radius, we're gonna keep that at five uh, millimeters and length at 50 millimeters. So these three are gonna remain constant. What we're gonna do is alter the viscosity. Okay, so let's come down and look at pressure as a constant at 100. Radius at five millimeters, that's a good thing. Uh, uh, we saw with the last Physio X that uh, the five millimeter uh, radius, blood moves pretty quickly through there. So anyway, length at 50. So we're gonna uh, start the viscosity at 1.0. So thin, uh, record the data. And we need to refill. And I believe it's gonna have us do it in increments. So record data, we did that. So let's uh, refill, we did that. And okay, of course, I asked questions kind of throughout. Uh, increased to 2.0. So let's see how far they want us to go because up to eight all right so we're going to increase it uh, by a factor of one uh, all the way up to eight so here's the viscosity of one flow rate uh, 490.6 milliliters per minute all right so anyway we're going to thicken the blood a little bit viscosity of two record data Refill, viscosity of three, we see the blood getting a little thicker, we see the blood uh, flow rate slowing down. Okay, so let me go to viscosity of four, click start. Again, slowing, uh, getting slower and slower as we get thicker and thicker. Bump it up to five. Core data. Refill. And up to six. Core data. Then up to seven. Core data. And then finally, viscosity of eight. And record data. Okay, so we have uh, a flow rate with a viscosity of 1.0, 490.6 milliliters per minute. When we increase the viscosity of the thickness all the way up to an eight, we see the flow rate drop to 61.3. Now, when we plot the data, we notice uh, as we increase by viscosity by an increment of one, we do start to see some leveling off. So we see a dramatic decrease in flow rate from one to two, a little less dramatic, less dramatic, and so on. So we do start to see this curve flattening out just a little bit here. If we did a nine, we would likely see flow rate uh, go continue to go down, but how much it, it goes down, um, we would have to continue to to keep going until again we saw uh, a complete leveling off.
So anyway, that's it really for, uh, for this lab activity. And then of course, you wanna submit your results and you can answer these if you'd like. And these are the, the main components that you want to uh, submit. Review sheet, describe the components in the blood that affect viscosity, and so on. Okay. Submit, and then you have your lab results. And again, from here, you're gonna to wanna to do the printable version, enter your name, click print, save as a PDF, click save, and now you have this as a PDF. Okay, so you can submit that uh, with the other ones into the Dropbox. Uh, thank you and stay tuned uh, for more PhysioX uh, activities.